Rumors are swirling that Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC will be announced soon. But if I were Nintendo, I would wait. And here's why. Hey there, it's Alex. And one question we talk about often on my live streams is, when will Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC be released? And as many of you probably know, the internet has been absolutely diluted with content over the past couple weeks of quote unquote new leaks indicating that wave two of the DLC is going to be announced and launched soon. I just went on a long plane ride coming back from vacation, which got me deep into thought. And I kept thinking, why in the heck would Nintendo release a highly anticipated DLC in the summer? This time of year is traditionally the dead time for gaming and most importantly sales. And that tradition is especially true with Nintendo. Check this out. Since Nintendo is a publicly traded company, I was able to take a look at the revenue history quarter by quarter over the last few years. Notice anything specific? Oh yeah, Nintendo makes bank during the holiday season. And throughout the rest of the year, sales are fairly constant for them. Nintendo's primary audience, especially this late in the console cycle, is not me in the working class. If I wanted a Nintendo Switch, I'd just save up and buy one. No. It's children. And last time I checked, kids don't have much purchasing power during the summertime unless a birthday pops up or they're running an unbelievable lemonade stand or lawn mowing business and they're just kicking butt there. But many kids do have purchasing power later in the year through their holiday wish list. I remember getting my Nintendo GameCube on Christmas and that was awesome. The first wave of DLC definitely moved the needle for Mario Kart when it launched this spring. So much so that it could lead to our fellow hopefuls asking for Nintendo Switch so they could join in on the Mario Kart action. With this in mind, if I were Nintendo, I would release Wave 2 at the end of October, just around Halloween. That is right before the holiday season begins. I worked retail for many years, and I know that once November 1 hits, it's game on. So at that time, Nintendo will build excitement for kids to ask for a Nintendo Switch to go along with Mario Kart and the DLC Pass, or even better, the expensive Nintendo Switch Online that comes with an annual subscription fee. Then for Wave 3, launch it sometime in the beginning or middle of December to drive those last minute sales. This is no secret, Nintendo is masterful at creating high demand. Those two words can be a beautiful thing and Nintendo can use that high demand that's currently present to their advantage. And just remember, the only info Nintendo has provided is that the six ways will be launched by the end of 2023. So they gave themselves some flexibility that can help them get to the sales numbers they are trying to achieve. Nintendo could drop all the DLC tomorrow if they really wanted to. And do I think they will release Wave 2 sometime this summer? My answer is probably, because the quote unquote leaks kind of sort of, I think, are starting to have some validity. And I'm a hopeful guy and would really like to play the new tracks like now. Let me know in the comments when you think the next wave of DLC will drop. And I'm also interested to know what tracks you are hoping to see come up in the game. Until next time, take care. See you later and have a good day.